Okay. Hola, my name is Linda, and I grew up as a long-distance American. Mexico was home, and Spanish was my first language. As a little girl, I learned about the United States and what it was to be an American, basically from my parents and a few other American families that lived in these remote mining camps of Mexico and Nicaragua. Looking back on those years, I realize that besides my family, what I learned about the United States was from magazines and books that came to our house by the planes, the little planes that would arrive in the mining camp. And we looked forward to the arrival of those planes that brought the magazines and the books and the much anticipated mail. I remember trying to imagine what it was like to taste fresh cherry ice cream that I'd seen in a good housekeeping magazine that belonged to my mother. I came to the California as a graduate student. And I stepped into, I guess, what you would call the real world of America. And I have to say that those first years were very difficult for me because I looked like the girl next door and I spoke perfect English, but on the other hand, I found almost every day that I ran into culture clashes and language miscues and not really understanding certain things and certain mores of this country. And so the first couple of years were basically very difficult adjusting and realizing that I had left one home to start life in a new home. Years later, I have to say that I am a very proud bilingual and bicultural American. And as a result of that, I have spent my educational years and my professional years as a teacher working with immigrant students, trying to help them make this transition, learn about this country. And I guess the most important thing is to encourage them that being bilingual and being bicultural is a strength in this country. Thank mm -hmm. you.